SP1 in the building. Yes. Yeah, SP. I've been seeing you all over the net doing certain things, videos. You know what I mean? Putting in the work. And um, from way back, obviously, you've been doing the DJing and stuff. Could you just like inform the people for, the, for, the, for those that don't know, you know what I mean? Let them know who SP is. Yeah, man. Like, SP1, isn't it, man? That's the name now, yeah? Obviously, it's been SP1 from day. Like, one of the biggest DJs back in the day, man, from Flavor to Deja. You get me, bruv? Everyone knows, bruv. Me, me and Maximum from Where Better Know. Come on, man. We hurt up this scene, bruv. Like, five years ago, we hurt up. Everyone used to come on our set, Deja Vu, 924, yeah? It was 923 back then. Everyone used to come on to our set. All the biggest MCs, bruv. You get me? And then I just... After all that, like, get me, I've done all, every big rave you can think of, all the young man standings, for all the grand raves, you know what I'm saying? Until then, you know what I'm saying, I stopped doing music, but now I've come back, like, five years later, five years later, not forgetting that I know everyone in the scene, you know what I'm saying? Like, like last October, I was just on tour with Tinchi, you get me? So shout out to Tinchi, yeah? Rapid, the whole of Rough Squad, free slicks, you get me? So I'll tell everyone... That was then, you get me, Ghetto, been bringing me in differently, I can't even say how much, but old tight gets man and he's smacking it up, you get me, you might see a little clash, him and P money, you know it is man, we keep this grand thing moving bruv, and like, I'm just bringing out, you know what I'm saying, I'm just doing a lot right about now, just trying to be big, you know. So, so what made you get into grime in the first place, like as a DJ, right, I mean, mm. when the scene was obviously... There wasn't any scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, obviously it's people like you that made a scene yeah, happen. So, so that's what I wanted to say. You know why? Because let me think. Like, don't forget when I was DJing, yeah. Like, I was on the radio. I was young, and I was playing garage. Grime weren't even out. Do you know what I'm saying? So like, it weren't even like like Grime weren't out. It was I was just playing garage, like vocals, girl tunes. Then like. It was only like, really, me and Maximum, I'm not even going to lie, me and Maximum, who was on radio, we started getting tunes from people from Bo, that's Wiley, like, do you know what I'm saying, like, people who was making this sort of new music, do you know what I'm saying, but we, we took it to another level, like, we started getting specials, like, DJs with all specials in it, like, do you know what I'm saying, like, dubs from everyone, and we started connecting from people from South, people from North, West, obviously East as well, bruv, and then, like, Graham, it just started becoming bigger, like people were not like we started playing it first on radio, like and then other people started playing it, like then we just connected with everyone really and oh well, look how Graham is today, do you know what I'm saying? Like basically like, you know what I'm saying, it's missing. From the time Grime started, right, you was you was one of the main characters in it. Right? Yeah, why yeah, did yeah. you leave? Why did I leave? Boy hey. Do you know why? I'm not even gonna lie, see cause me I was I was like 17, yeah? 17, doing raves and that, but like, I was young. And this is what you young kids don't want to do. Do you know why? Because obviously, like, I've lost like five years of this, yeah? So, like, all the hard work I put in, like, it was mad. Like, the reason why I left it was because through money, innit? And everyone knows that because when you're DJing at that age, like, come on, you're dealing with a promoter who's like 30 or something, 25. You're a little kid to him. He's not even paying you, bruv. If anything, you're getting free subs. Do you know what I'm saying? So like, I couldn't do that for so long. Don't forget I was young, only making certain amount, enough money to get money for records, like paying for dub plates, there was no CD decks, nothing like that. It was strictly go to Music House, JTS, do you know what I'm saying? Stone throw, like there's like, you have to pay like 45 pound for one dub plate if you want to be this guy. Do you know what I'm saying? So you got to understand like, it weren't really doing it for me. So I just done something else like to the side. And what I was doing, you can't mix them two together. There's no way. The road and music does not mix. So that's why people, if you're watching, it's all these kids out there. When you're watching, just, do you know what I'm saying? The road is not the one, trust me, man. If you're doing music, you stick to music. Because, like, seriously, you stick at it and it can get you somewhere. All of my friends who I know stuck at it, get me millionaires. Like, um, that's not even a joke. Wiley, a millionaire. Dizzy Rascal, a millionaire. Kano. <sighs> Like, these are my friends. Do you know what I'm saying? They stuck at it. I left. Obviously, I was a DJ. But, like, I was not a dumb DJ. I knew what to do. I knew how to bring out, like, you know, not really mix CDs because they weren't about them. But now, like, oh, it's a long story. But, you know, man. When, when you got, when you, all right, you say you was doing, um, 
you was playing on the radio anyway before the grime came out. When you when you when you first got that tune, what well, all right? We didn't know what it was at the time. What the, what yeah, it was yeah, yeah. What what was your impressions? Didn't you think? Well, what's what's this? So this is a bit mad. What did what did you think? No, man. Because you know where. Cause I liked, I liked, I liked all this stuff anyway, like MCs and everything. I liked it anyway. Like, do you know what I'm saying? I liked to, uh, just say for instance, like Precious, Tech. These people used to MC over old school garage, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm, I've heard another hard with hard kicks and that drum. I'm thinking, rah, like. And then there's actually MCs like going attacking. And I used to just love mixing for the MCs anyway, like. So I used to like all that stuff anyway, man. So it was a good look for me, bro.